Oh my gosh, my, my backdrop is falling. <laughs> Oh, we are live right now. Just wait. We are live. Going. I know, honey. I know. We're just gonna say hi to people and get them on. Hey, Hattie. Welcome. We're just gonna wait for all of our lovely uh, pages to kind of stream together. Hey, Kathy. Amber. Angie's on. Awesome. Wonderful. Hey, Latrice and Amber. Perfect. We're just going to wait for a couple more minutes, or not even a minute, 30 seconds, guys, and then we're going to get going. But thank you again for coming on. Hey, Gina. All right. Getting live, getting with it. Wonderful. I'm going to wait for that special number. <laughs> We're going to go in here. <laughs> All right, guys. Hello. Welcome back. For those of you who have been watching our weekly um, education videos, welcome back. For those of you who join us for the first time, Welcome. This is the Colors by Gina Page, and I would like you to be introduced. I'm going to introduce the wonderful and talented Mr. John Altman. He's our international artistic director. I'm Heather Nita, the assistant director for with Colors by Gina. And today we're going to go over our reds and our coppers and our gold family. So, John, I'm going to hand it over to you. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. So like she said, we're going to go over our amazing reds. And I really want to show you the pigments of these reds, how strong they are and what you can do with just a little. So we're going to go over some of that today. And, you know, a lot of things are with red. It's very versatile. I can make pink. I can make rose gold. I can make so many different things from it. So we're going to play with that today and kind of show you how to do that. And honestly, I love the reds and coppers. Those of you who've used them before will know a fish, how wonderful and beautiful they are, how well they cover and how long they last. And so we are going to show you today. Hopefully, if you have your Try Me kits, please join, come along. But if not, we are definitely going to give you the formulations to try with your lovely kits that you, you have at home. So today we sent out three different colors for everybody to play with. I have the boxes here. So 0.66, this is our pure mixer, OK? 10.0, and we're going to get to why 10.0. You're like, this isn't red, but I'm going to show you why it can be. And 6.43, which is our gold, our copper gold. Now I got to put my setup back, like, so it's all pretty. <laughs> so today I'm going to really kind of go into the 0.66. I want to show you how a little bit can actually do a lot. So we're going to make some stuff with that. But first, Let's go ahead and make a vibrant red. Now, usually I would go ahead and use like a 7.6 mixed with a 6.43 to make this red, but I wanna show you the vibrancy, like I said, of this 0.66. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have your bowls, your brushes, your scale, your color, and definitely put something on your countertops. I think I tell you every week to do that just because I've ruined mine and I was able to fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down. Awesome. And as we're talking about today, guys, we are getting into these beautiful colors. The 0.66, as you mentioned, is a pure mixer. That means it is heavy micropigmentation and it's it's just 100% color. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mix this. It's going to be six grams of the 6.43 with only two grams of the 0.66 to make this vibrant red. Now it's going to be 12 grams of 20 volume. So that mixing ratio, guys, is one to one and a half. For those of you who are waiting for your um, your dream kits and things, it's going out. It's coming to you. So be ready for that. There was a question with Vanessa here. Um, but yes, for the timing kits as well, they will be coming every single week as you uh, ask for them. And sometimes it's taking a little bit longer because right now everybody's working at 50% capacity, including UPS. Um, the postal service and all that. So it does take a little bit longer. So we do, we do apologize for that. Okay. 
And yeah, so that first formulation in this is 6.43 with a 0.66. And we're using 20 volume, guys, on these swatches. Again, we've mentioned numerous times that the swatches are quite uh, stubborn. So we want to make sure we do that. You can see how creamy and pur purdy that is. Now I'm going to go ahead and just mix these before I put my developer in because this helps the consistency actually mix better. Once you put the developer in, it just kind of, it will start separating it. And that color is beautiful. We love that color. The grams of developer we're working with here is 12 grams for the eight grams of color. Again, that's one part color to one and a half part color producer for a permanent color application. And Fabiola, we will, uh, it's uh, the, the, maho the gold mahogany is different and we'll go ahead and um, reach out to us separately and we'll go ahead and answer that for you as well. And yes, isn't that pigment so beautiful guys? This is with that copper gold with the red pure mixer. And yes, these bowls and brushes do come with the kit. These are our colors by Dina Bowls. They're fantastic. They have the oh, handle on them and then those lovely, oh, you're putting gloves on. Nice. Don't the gloves. <laughs> Keep making sure. Absolutely. So now you can see as it spreads on. And you can see the vibrancy already of this color and it hasn't even oxidized. So with Colors by Gina, we definitely have these beautiful ingredients in them. Every application within our color producers, within our curated color, we have the pure biogen complex, which is the biotin and the, the collagen. We have amazing uh, polymers that help with the conditioning factor of the hair. The spreadability is fantastic because of all these lovely vitamins and nutrients and things that are in the color. And now you guys can see this color on this swatch. Very pretty. And I do see a question on here. Why did you blend your colors prior to adding developer? The reason I did that is because if you mix them before, they don't separate. Once you put the developer in there, the two different pigments start to separate and then you will, it was harder to blend. So it's so much easier to blend if you just do that prior. Yeah, definitely. I just second that. You absolutely, it, it just is a harder time. This makes it a little easier step for you, but it still will mix well. Do you see the next question of um, how does the pigment handle being applied on skin? The skin, it comes off very simply. It really does. Um, the great thing about this with the natural oils and everything that is inside this color, it actually helps just take it right off the skin. Um, very rarely do I even have to use like a color, you know, wipe or anything to get this color off. Awesome. So this was the first, we're doing four different swatches um, for you who just joined us. We are doing, so you can show, see has, just how vibrant the copper and gold combination with the reds are. That's our first swatch. And that was six grams of 6.43 plus two grams of 0.66. And that's 12 grams of 20 volume. We will and this is gonna be a vibrant red. Vibrant red, yes. Now the next one's gonna be a little fun. This is gonna be a pink. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make a pink real quick. So what we're going to do, remember I said we're going to use that 10.0. I knew it wasn't a red, but we're going to use it to make our pink today. So with this, it's 8 grams of 10.0. And we're going to do half an inch of 0.66, which is our pure mixer. Okay, so this is, a, this is going to be just... Um, what is that word I'm looking for, Heather? It's just direct pigment, just like, it's Thank like you. a, yeah. And I'm going to do half an inch. So when we talk about pure mixers in general, we want to make sure that we don't overly go crazy if you're not trying to achieve that. With the pink shade, he's doing just an inch of it. So again, you literally just squeeze it out and look and eyeball that, correct, John? Only half an inch. Yeah, you just eyeball that. That one's right. half an inch, yeah. Okay, once again, I'm mixing my, my two together. Like I said, it mixes easier before you put the developer in. Once you put the developer in, it is a little bit tougher to, uh, it takes a little bit longer to mix this, but this is how easy this color mixes. 
And this is what we recommend for you so that you do have those easy tools. So you'll have consistent uh, mixing the entire time. And I'm going to do 12 grams once again. Oh, I love that. She says, I love when you two work together. You both Thanks, make an Kendall. amazing team. <laughs> we try. We, we love each other. A long time, yeah. <laughs> okay, and you can see as I'm mixing this together, it's actually mixing so much easier because I've already mixed my pigments together. And again, we're tar our target shade here is pink. And I'll show you guys before we go the end result of all these. I've already had them pre-done. Mm -hmm. And the fun thing is I made about three different pinks. Um, one of them that I did was just this. It was 10.0 and it was eight grams, but it was only a dot of 0.66. Now with that dot, it made a dusty road, like a dusty pink. It was beautiful. Oh, and I actually have that right here. So this is the dusty pink that I made. So we did make the dust pink and then he just adjusted the formula. A couple questions here rolling in here, John. Um, yeah. We are using the 20 volume developer for this with a permanent mixing ratio, which is one to one and a half. Uh, because these are swatches and they're really, really tough to kind of get through, we want to make sure you can see the pigment and you'll be able to work with that as well. The, the other question is... This would have to be on hair that is light, pre-lightened to level 10 or lighter. Yeah, if you're looking for lighter for this pink shade, you definitely will need to um, brighten and pre-lighten as much as you can. I mean, you could even get away with though. I mean, these are on white swatches, but I think that you'll still get pigment at, on level nine or even eight, don't you think? You It'll would, you might different. get more of a rose gold. It'll be more rose. Yeah. As the deeper you go in the level of the dark, the level of darkness and the shade, you'll be able to see different parts of the actual color. But yes, if you want to get this particular color, you'll need to lighten it to a pale yellow. Yep. And I'm using 20 volume on all of these just because of how stubborn these swatches are. Okay. So here is the second one. So this will become our pink today. So pretty. Now we're going to mix it up with some copper. Who loves the coppers? Oh. Who's used the copper so far? <laughs> I love them. I have. <laughs> I love copper. It's one of my favorite colors. So I love that natural copper. Okay. The natural look of copper. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use four grams of 6.43 and four grams of 10.0. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take that six and make it more of an eight to nine. Yep. So we go. What would I normally use other than 20 volume? Um, I would do this even with Demi, so a five volume, or you could use a 10 volume also. Five volume is what is my go-to for Demi, and especially for pinks and things like that, because I don't need to lift any more. I just like to deposit. So I would usually use a five volume on blonde hair. Yes. So I have my phone next to me too, so I can see some of the comment or comments so I can answer. He is just a multitasking guy. We love this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the four grams. Now we're going to take our 10.0 and do another four grams of that. And again, our goal here is to show how you can have that copper gold but and still just like lighten it gently. Make it a little bit of a lighter shade. So the funny thing is, this was a brand new tube, and you can see I'm almost done now of all three ounces, because I've been sitting here playing with swatches for two weeks with this, because I want to make sure we have the perfect color for you guys. Yeah, every time we do these classes, we really try exactly what John's saying, try to show you and play, because we want to invite you also to do the same. As you use this color in your salons with your clientele, with all the people that you are coloring the world with <laughs> and coloring your life, we want you to be able to see how simply it is to adjust the shades to get beautiful results, and you'll be able to do that as well. Like I said, I'm still pre, even with these two, I'm still going to mix them prior to putting the developer in. It just makes the mix in so much easier. And you see, it doesn't take very much longer of time. In fact, it just kind of is a second nature. And as you do that, with your, if you're multi-mixing with different colors for your formula, you will see how just it just is makes it a little bit more efficient in your process. 
And once again, just how easy this mix. I mean, I don't have tinnitus anymore from trying to mix my color bowls. I love it. <laughs> so literally, yeah, like, I used to have tinnitus from it because it was just like you were constantly whipping. Whereas this is very creamy. Let's talk about uh, timing for all of these, John. Timing for us is thirty minutes with a twenty volume. If you're doing a five vo or thirty-five minutes, if you're doing a twenty volume, and if you're doing a five volume, it's only twenty. So it depends on the type of uh, like color you're doing. If you're doing a permanent application, permanent color, demi permanent color. Our permanent color is one part color to one and a half parts color producer. And our demi permanent is one part color to two part colored producer. So hopefully that works. Well, I'm so glad people have been playing with the training kits. It's, it's such a fun time to do, especially at this time. <laughs> And you can see on the swatch how the 10.0 just kind of muted it just a little bit. So what that's doing is the pure the copper is there still. The copper gold is still there. We just lightened it up with a 10.0 just to give us a lighter, more natural looking, beautiful copper. And see, when you're painting these swatches at home, guys, just make sure your saturation is clean and you do it on both sides. And we always kind of go over the front one and fan them out as much as possible. Are, I, we are, Ian, are you letting them oxidize with the foil open? Yes, I am. Um, I always let these oxidize with the foil open so I can kind of watch them. But you also may absolutely, I know a lot of people do them within foils as well. Obviously, when you cover when on a normal application, you're going to see uh, it's just going to. Just real quick, I want to show you guys. This is the vibrant red and the pink, and you can see as they're oxidizing the difference between the two. So you can see how much brighter that vibrant red is, and then you can see the pink starting to take its form as an actual pink. Yes. So and you'll see the copper soon enough as it continues to oxidize, like what it will do. All right. Now I'm about to have so a little bit more fun. Awesome. So let's do this. So this is what I call rosy gold. Okay. The reason I call it rosy gold is because rose gold itself usually has a little bit more gold to it. But I'm only using 643, 10.0, and a 0.66 today. So I've made it a new color. It is a rose gold of a rosier effect. So with this, we're going to do seven grams of the 10.0. Ta-da, I've used up my full tube. Kathy, I'm going to need more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy is our sales rep that I always go to. I love her. And then I'm going to use one inch of 6.43, okay? So what I do is I measure out an inch. You probably can't see that. And then I just cap it off, put it in there. Now I'm going to use a dot, okay? Only a dot of 0.66. So when I say a dot, okay, I'm going to show you guys how I do this. There's a dot right there. I'm going to take that off and put it on top of the color. Again, I this use is the rosy color. gold. Rosy gold. So I'm going to start mixing these together. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. You can barely see that red in there anymore but it's going to be just enough to give us that pure gold or that pure rose and as i mix it together now you can kind of see it's making that already what it's a rose gold look let's go ahead and add the 12 grams because it, once again it's one to one and a half so eight grams of color 12 grams of developer And I'm very precise with this. You'll see me take a little bit longer and drip little drips of developer. The sign, you know, the way I always look at it, people are like, do you have to be exact? Yeah, you should, especially if you have your scale. The biggest reason is somebody hired those scientists to make this color this way. So I'm making sure I do my job because they did theirs. So I like to mix it exactly like they tell me. And then I get that full, that beautiful effect or um, consistency. Consistency. Thank you for that word. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, that's why we 
we make sure that we always recommend you to use these kind of formulations and this mixing ratio and timing and all that stuff because it's already been done. It was a few years in the making, honestly, to create this beautiful, amazing color line. So you can even see it even right when you're even applying it too, just kind of those subtle hints of the rose and the gold. I mean, it's, yeah. It's beautiful. And you'll see when, like I said, we have these finished for you. And I've made some other ones I'm going to show you before that also, because I think it's important to see some variances of these colors. Okay. So now you can see that's our last swatch. And I have to show you this pink one more time because this is, I love this color. I just love this. Yes, we will um, have our formulations posted on the page, including the finished swatches for your. Okay, I'm bringing this back up so it's not just on my, on the countertop. Now here is the dusty pink I was talking about. Okay, this was only a drop of 0.66. So that's gonna make it a little bit, of course, lighter than the other pink that we have done, which I'm about to show you now. So there is our bubblegum pink. Yep. It's really hard to show you guys. I'm on my laptop in my kitchen with a ring light, but you can see it next to this one. It's just, a, this one's a little bit more dusty. And say it again, the difference between those for everyone. So the difference is the dusty pink is only a dot of 0.66 with a 10.0. This one over here is actually, oh, it's on the side. I was going to say that. It's a half an inch. <laughs> half an inch. Sorry, everything's backwards. It's like a mirror when you're playing <laughs> on the screen. Okay. Also, I wanted to show you guys how red our reds are. Okay, this is our pure mixer with 20 volume on a swatch. You can see it's a beautiful, vibrant red. Now, this is, um, I would I would call this firehouse red. <laughs> it is a beautiful, bright red. But I wanted something a little bit more wearable. So, let's see if I can get this on here right. You can see this is a little bit more wearable than this right here. Has a little bit more copper to it, but still a nice, beautiful, vibrant red. My next one is, here's a 643. So you can see this is a beautiful copper gold. This is what level six would be. Now, when I put it with a 10.0, do you see how that's more of a natural looking copper? It's a beautiful natural copper that you see a lot of the natural redheads that have the copper hair. And all we did there is six, uh, half 6.43 and half of the 10.0. I'm looking down to see if I have questions at the same time. I got your questions. I think Matthew asks, that's awesome. Those colors tend to be semi-gummy only, and now my clients will love not having to come in frequent. Yay, yes, absolutely. <laughs> you can actually make these a more permanent color. Of course, because of the pigments, they won't last as long as the rest of our colors. Because you put, if you do gray coverage, you really barely have to ever retouch it again, maybe every third time, because this color does not fade. Of course, with a brighter pigment like that, I am expecting this to still last a whole time that they come in between appointments, though. These colors do not fade off. They are wonderful. Um, these pigments with the micro pigments go inside that hair follicle and they just hang on for dear life. And it's wonderful to see that because then a client comes in, they still have that beautiful hair that you wanted them to have. Okay. And then here is my rosy gold. Now, rosy gold was the one that we just did 10.0. I did a uh, one inch of 643 and then a dot of the red of the 0.66. And you can see it's really hard. I hate these screens because I can't really show you the true definition of them. That's why if you have your try me kit or if you wrote these down or get these formulations later, I want you to try these because it is so much fun to do some swatching and just have fun with it to make up these beautiful colors for your clients. Because if you make them up, nobody else can do it. And so that client is now yours forever. It's wonderful. Okay. So, do we have any other questions? We're looking good. So, we are going to have more classes coming up also. 
I'm gonna let Heather talk about that. Okay, look at those beautiful shades. So we do have upcoming classes, guys. Please join us on Wednesday of this week. We're gonna be with Mr. Richie Roman. He's gonna be teaching a piano curl highlighting technique, which is super exciting. That's gonna be same place here in Colors by Gina Facebook page at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And then you do the math wherever you are in the country. And <laughs> we will have that if you would. <laughs> so tune in on Wednesday. Also, next week, you can join me on Monday uh, for a blue toning class. I will be joined with um, Shannon Ebert. She's going to be helping me talk about blue toning. And we have a try me kit for that upcoming class. So email Angie Birchler for that try me kit. You are going to get, guys, in that try me kit, you're going to get a 10.1. 10.1 is one of Gina's favorites. That's her favorite. She tones her hair with that. You're going to get a 0.01, which is one of my favorites, and an 8.1. And we're going to show you what it is like to use blue and why is that important, why our line is blue-based. So again, next Monday, blue toning this Wednesday for the highlighting technical class. So we also want to be have you guys be mindful of our Instagram page. Many of you have already followed because you needed to in order to uh, be a part of our wonderful, colorful dreams. But that is at Colors by Gina. And then Gina herself, her beauty, uh, it's at Beauty Expert Gina. And my uh, Instagram is Heather Nita Studio. And John, what is yours? So we can Mine is Runs With Scissors 107. So I'm a little bit different. I don't use just my name. But <laughs> we're, we're here as a resource for you guys. We've been working with the color for a long time. And we have, if you have questions, some of you already have already asked uh, via IG, which is fantastic. We love that community. We want to see your work. So if you have works of your reds and coppers, please, please, please go ahead and uh, share them with us so we can repost. And make sure if you want the Try Me kit with the blues, you go ahead and email Angie Birchler. She has put her email right there in the comments for you guys. It's a Birchler at buy hyphen Gina.com. Thank you, Lulu. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> you guys, John's amazing. We're so excited to see your colorful creations that you create with this beautiful line. And we'll see you next time, right? Do you have anything? Absolutely. You guys definitely tag us. I want to see your reds and all your work as it comes in. We love seeing you guys use the color and about how happy you are or any concerns or questions. So make sure to share those with us. And thank you so much for being here. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.